guys and gals, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. We got nothing on us here. This is John. A, a big doozy last episode. Can I move this? What the heck is he doing? What the hell? Wow. My controls changed here? Uh, anyway, I I don't know if Arthur's dead. Maybe he is. I have a feeling he's not. I really hope he's not. But uh, we're playing as John here, and we've come into Strawberry with our son, Jack. Abigail and Jack went looking for work. We're getting the wagon loaded up. We're going to do some delivery. Let's go meet up here at the doctor's office. Thank you, doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? I well, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. Well, what do you suggest now? I'll stay here and get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John. I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. <laughs> a happy little family. Right, let's go deliver this. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Going to the Pronghorn uh, Ranch, and I'm going to haul ass the whole way. West past Owen Kila, then follow the road north. Okay. Yeah, last episode, man. Wow. I was not expecting that. So I don't know the story, right? Because I... I've never played the game before, either one of them. I've never watched any Let's Plays on them, so everything that happens in this game is... I'm seeing it for the first time. Which I'm really enjoying. I've had, you know, I've made guesses at things, and... From the dialogue and character action, you can kind of figure out what might be going to happen, but not always. I knew this stuff with Dutch was coming for a long time. They they had some weird stuff happening real pretty early on in the game as far as how he was talking and interacting with us. Just want to have a look at the map here. Oh. Wait a minute now. Okay. So we've not... Uh, this is just where John has been, uh, I guess, so far in the game. I guess then that makes sense to me. Pretty interesting. It's weird that he has nothing on him at all here. We got some food. He's not carrying, though. What the hell happened to Dutch? He lost his damn mind. Thick with greed and a power trip.
Yeah, I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting a character change. That's for sure. I'm wondering what would have happened if I had gone for the money. If it would have played out different. What else was I going to do, though? I mean, you know, John's like our best friend here. He's like our brother. Of course I'm going to help him. I'm not going to go for the damn money. Well, look at this place now. Nice piece of land here. You Mr. Geddes? No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens. His overseer. Jim Milton. Do you make I'm cider? I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes. Wow. It's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and... Turn sour. It's long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We oh, all work. Agatha, Big he's changing names. <laughs> what the hell'd you call me? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? I'm about to whoop down. your ass. Delicious. Oh, <laughs> these are the local uh, bullies. Boss may go sell this place, boy. I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine Scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh, these supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> 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 Bye, bud. <laughs> you come back here. You can use that horse. And don't get yourself hurt. Or hurt them for that matter. That's my damn wagon. Yeah, that's not the store's wagon, man. That's 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 my wagon. Hey! Turn oh, off. Shit. This one's got a stone oh. in his boot. Are you kidding me? He said don't hurt him. I'm wanted for fucking murder. See if we can just hide out for a little bit here. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's let me read. <laughs> let me redo it. I started choking him there, and it was just it felt too good. I couldn't let him go. Wait. Oh, I guess it pretends like that didn't happen. Oh. Or do we just replay this?
Thank you. Sure. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie. Work for Mr. Abel. One of them's dead. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. You seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother. He tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. Really? We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. <laughs> what does Mr. Gettys need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah, makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Gettys know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. What? We'll bring her here tomorrow. The hell? We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. Things work out, y'all can stay there. All right. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. Look at this now. We got our own little place here. Couldn't have done better. I'm wondering if this is the ranch that uh, Arthur uh, and Sadie attacked where they slayed, they killed the people who killed her family. Epilogue, uh, epilogue, uh, epilogue part one. Look at this now. New horses were able to purchase in the black uh, in the black the Blackwater and Tumbleweed stables. All right, I got nothing on me here. Let me have to take take a look at my place real quick. A little map here. We got bunk beds there. This is not well. I guess that's big enough for us. Nah, we're not going to shave, John. Take this. All right. Is this my horse here? Let's brush her. His name's uh, her name's Rachel here. You good? Let's study this horse. I can't believe they killed my horse, man. Arthur's horse. Oh, this is not a bad... This is my horse. It's not too bad. There's a girl. Wait a minute. Okay. Not quite the stats the Arabian had. No, this is a different place, I think. The, the barn is the same. Damn thing. Milton, get over here. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, hmm. Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and well, That's Mr. not Dickens. the name he Work gave. Hard, 
You be honest, you'll get your keep, I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John Jim? <laughs> extra hard. <laughs> hey, hey, get over here. Mr. Dickens? Go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. Look at that saw right there behind him. Come on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say, is that your family getting in the wagon up there? Ah, believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? It, that you ran off those hired guns? That's right, killed one Look, of them. But we, the game uh, doesn't count that I did. Not discuss this in front of my wife. Oh, uh, no, sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton, how fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kind of... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. I had to. I was supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. Why oh, is she so upset? I was going to milk the cows. We're stealing her wagon, man. It's like all we have. You are gonna milk the cows? Sure. Not above milking a cow. Oh, I don't know. I, I thought you was, uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one, at that. When you got here, them hired guns? Yeah. I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. They had all pulled on me. Oh, there was it nine of them. Nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. Yeah. No. Oh. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Around, you know. Up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything, the ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. Once so, was. If it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? Nah. Oh, good lord, no. Nothing like that. Yeah. Just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. Failed at a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Here's the cows. Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, sit down, I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to Pretty surprise. close to John Marston, I guess. Am I gonna have to do this? Almost got a pail full. Hey, Pa. Is that your boy? That's yeah. raw hey. milk. Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your paw yet. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, That's partner. Enough, Jim. We all got to earn our keep. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. Come on, son. How old 
you now, Lancelot? Twelve, sir. Ain't that grand. It's such Somebody's, a fine name. I was gonna say, nobody's I'd saying like nothing it. about his I name. Got, I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now, it ain't pleasant work, but it's gotta be done. Mr. Dickens said... I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? Mm-hmm. Look at this trash. Let me clean up this garbage, man. Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work. Hard as it may be. Boy. Bring Are we really going to do this? To <laughs> yes, sir. Hold on a moment. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. Ew. Coming. John Marston. Terror of the turds. <laughs> you almost got me. Ugh. All right, that's enough detail. From gunslinging to shit shoveling. Great. Reckon even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. Go ahead and get washed up. Hey. Hey. Where's Jack? Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want. Same as I've been. Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too. Coffee on. <laughs> it's moving into uh, ball. Looks like maybe. All right, three bucks. All right, We've got a couple of people we can uh, check in on. Let's go see. Um, We'll go see Tom first. We'll go see the foreman, and then we'll go talk to uh, Mr. Geddes. Hey, Milton. Can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. Can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, I've ain't used cow. to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. You want to help put the fence or not? Inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. So free 
that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. <sighs> but I will work hard, and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. It's not a big enough hammer for that. Yep. There's plenty more to do. Pound it in there. We don't want it coming down. Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Milton. Now, lift up the other side. They gotta line up, see? Now the next rail. It's a little bit tedious, ain't it? Oh, I, okay. I don't That's have to it. move them back and forth. Fine. Okay. Okay. Well, that looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. All right. Why don't you just stand there? I hope you've grasped the basics. Yeah, I it's uh, not to too to, difficult. There's more than a day's work here for you. <laughs> All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. Will you? I need a sledgehammer for this, man. He didn't tell us where the fence was going. I like that John keeps his shirt a little bit unbuttoned. Arthur liked his his style was all the way up. Put that fence down and get over here, boy. Shut. Okay, just keep it together. <laughs> Quick as you can. Hurry. Hurry. Milton, get over here. Coming. Come on, give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make him mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Well, let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Come on! Move! Oh, oh shit! I'll get him! Keep on, Milton, and try and calm him down. I gotta build that! No, you don't! Anything broke? Okay, kind of forgot how to work the last, so I got it now. Gotcha! Did I let it go? Oh, I let it go. I forgot about... Oh, shit. Damn. Not too well. All right, don't let go of it. gonna calm this thing down. You don't look like you're gonna wind down, <laughs> but I'll try. It ain't so bad. Nice and easy now, boy. Whoa there. Whoa there. I had it that easy, first time. Damn it. Easy. There, there. There, there. All better. Okay. <laughs> Now, come on, you hunk of Chuck. Don't get no ideas. All right. Ruin the damn him, fence. Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet.
I don't think you could do a bowl like that. to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. I'm cleaning at the doctor's office. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Give the place a tidy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. I'd get a little 22 rifle. I'd be all over that farm. All right, let's go check in with Mr. Geddes. Where are my other hands? Damn it, Abe. I said, Abe, yes, sir. where are the other hands? You can call I us I men. Said I don't rightly know, Mr. Geddes, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost. Possibly more, a mare about to full, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Uh, good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest, Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. I can see what's going to happen here. We're going to be foremen. Because we're competent. Here. I'm good. You get on. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Since you showed up, runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much... <sighs> I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all. Hmm? Maybe I could have handled them. <laughs> of course you could. They're just loud mouths. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Well, oh. when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, okay then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get two. Thanks, kid. You Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. You need a hand with that horse? No. Well, <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yes. Yes, I do. Pretty big one. <laughs> That's Jeremiah. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Easy. Oh, hey, easy now. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Oh, calm down. He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. I'm gonna take him out first. Burn some of this heat off of him. Okay. I'll wait in the corral. Got some energy? Show me then. Come on. Where's that big mean horse? Let's get a lather up. Who's a good boy? Come on! Hey, boy. Yeah, boy! Yeah, Jeremiah! Oh, 
Okay. That was fun, wasn't it? You can behave now, can't you? He's ready for you. Okay. Get on up there and go nice and slow. Man, if anything happens to this kid, it's gonna be on me. All right, do a donut. Stay calm. Do a wheelie. Me? A horse. You're calm. The heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse for you to ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh. Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask? Are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich. Way richer than Pa. And he's got all these hired guns. Out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll- Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. All this damn yeah, land what? in the country and this guy what? worry just about this fucking worry ranch. about the horse. Yeah? This yes, This guy's sir. dead. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. Are we are we good here or You Mr. Milton? I thought you were gonna help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. I Duncan, what do. have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my Thank husband. Thank you, Mr. Milton. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. I guess I should have just gone over right off the bat. Can I get through any of these damn fences? All right, ma'am. So, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? I don't. Milton? I don't. Not too much. Oh my God, where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town. Everybody's so damn judgmental. Hands. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for that. where the legs are. No. Go on. No, I'm not doing it. Whatever you say, ma'am. I'm not doing it. Don't do it. I don't want to look. Okay, now hold on. And pull. All right, I'm glad they're not showing us this. It's coming out one way or another. Grab them again. Am I missing something here? Get a hold of it again. Oh, oh I got to do that. Okay, gotcha. A little more. Okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. Are you flirting with I'd me, Miss like Geddes? that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? Yes, ho. I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah, we we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around. Oh, uh, I'm I'm busy. Uh, too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day, Interesting. Mr. Milton. Uh huh. 
I'm pretty sure horses in the wild, they stand up when they and let gravity help them out there. I don't know. I'm not sure, but I think that's the thing. Maybe I'm thinking of giraffes or some other type of hang down. <laughs> All right. Well, there's the pony. We're going to go out riding with Jack here. This might be fun. Hey, hey boy. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Oh, it was her Us idea. On the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. For him. I don't know why he doesn't like this, man. How's he been? Been kind of withdrawn. Well, he's got no internet out here. You know. Sure. Take him out, please. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. I always got called boy by my stepfather. I never liked it. I was like little, like this. Round to the left. What do you see? The pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? No. You're... Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding? Aside from home. I don't know, but maybe that stream. Good idea. Now you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... You're good, girl. See, you can do it. How about you speed up a mic? Okay. Whoa. Now let's slow it down. Whoa, boy. Why don't we speed it up again? Okay. We have to stay on the come road on. or will we come with me? Ah. Even faster, come on. Faster? You know, this ain't so bad, sir. Good. Amazing what the right horse and a little confidence can do. Must be a lot of fun riding horses like out in the uh, open like this. I did it a little okay. bit when I was young. Let's go across to the stream. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. He knows where the hell it is. I don't. Think you're ready for a little race? I don't think I he is. All right. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. Go! I don't think this is a good idea. 
gonna let him win though. But I don't want to make it seem like I'm letting them win. Should I just smoke them? Just leave them in the dust? Then scold them for it? Get it feels like I'm flying. Let's knock them off. Let's clip the legs out from one of the horse. Are you still back there? I can barely keep up with you, Jack. Last I mean, that's a lot. I beat you. I beat you. I sure well did. ridden, son. I beat you. Like I said, your riding has gotten so much better. Thanks. Hey, keep practicing your riding. You too. You need it. Uh-oh. What the hell's going on over here? <laughs> you want to watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one we kill. Leave him alone. <laughs> oh, careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How fancy pants get is paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. Said he had some problems with vermin. Oh, listen to this. Real funny. <laughs> oh, oh, come on, get him now. Get him. Oh, I'll kick his head in, boss. Uh, uh, yeah. It's like that, huh? I'm gonna smell like cow dung, boys. Yeah. Oh, he's licking you, boss. <laughs> Yeah. You couldn't clean my boots. Boss, boss, you need help. Boy, can There you go. Jim, you get off that man. Get off him. He hit me first. Oh, you can fight, boy. He tried. He didn't I'll get a lick on that. me. Well, how's your wife in the brawl? Oh, I'll kill you. Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. <laughs> Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. Married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> <laughs> well, what'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you, bud. Good luck with that face. We'll see you again. <laughs> and you, boy. Tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. A couple of dicks, Thank you, man. Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, pulled you guns. moron. Plenty. I can't wait to kill them. <laughs> We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. Now, dear, I, I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. You toad. All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. Right, 
Let's see. Uh, check in with Abigail. Let's check in with uh, Mr. Gettys first here. Hey, Mr. Gettys. Mr. Mr. Gettys? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Not really. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and uh, not just gun? the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Yes. I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Mm. Uh, no, no, I'm thank good. You. She's not much of a cook, is she? I miss Mr. Pearson. John Marston, you're such a pig. <laughs> 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 All right, it's getting late. I just missed something Let's get there. Some rest. Because I was making Good night, a joke. Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. How are we supposed to have any private time? It's not even a divider in this house. What the hell was that? What are you, what that are you was doing? a shot, John. My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Like that? They've killed Mr. Tolbert, and they've stolen my goddamn cattle. Give me that weapon. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I guess sir. we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim, I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your 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 name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Come in, it's me. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. God, I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing? You get hanged for that. Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We I What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. I'll lead the way. This gonna Hell be the yeah. last we hear out of them. Yeah, yeah, right. Off your horses here. We'll be better on foot. Okay, if you say so. I do say so. That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. They took them what? Yards out front. A hundred yards. A couple more on the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah, there's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom. You head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. Hey! Hey! You boys been coming up the... I'm not 
dual wield in here. Face, huh? There you go, so about your head. Damn right. Really? Beat the shit out of him. You know that woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in oh, her life. Oh shit. She's got to make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my seats. As long as she Yeah. See what you got on you. All your shit. All right, I guess that's enough. Cattle. I guess they got it. Yeah, we'll probably be made foreman here. They killed somebody. I can't remember who they said. I don't think it was the, the foreman. The foreman's uh, the foreman is Dickens. I don't think that's the name he said. Hey, you're back. You did real well, Mr. Milton. This man can really fight. Save the whole place. 
Oh. <laughs> that weren't nothing. Well... You! Oh, you... <laughs> you saved my life. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about, Abe, just in case you stay up? Yep. You see anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. Will do. Uh, well said. And thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. <laughs> I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. Hey, Rays. I only killed 15. What? What a look. That's a look of disgust. Would you rather it be us dead? What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. There That's he is. That's all I'm saying. There he is. Old Arthur, man. All right. We're going to go check in. We, uh... We need to call this an episode. Can we get over fences here? Yeah. Let me check in with her. How are you getting on? Surviving. I think. Here. I'll get you some coffee. Only thing I know how to do is... Well, you know, undertakers like me. Cattle? Not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. But you're doing it. I was... I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know you all shave about this that. Beard Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been has been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. You're, you're doing better. Milton. Milton, ma'am. Mr. How about you not come into my place? Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lance a lot. Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name. My name. I think so. <laughs> one's in your name and the other's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Amazon, oh, yes, she can't a help. a real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> Okay, Lancelot. I'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. I'm just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on, get. You take care right. now. Of course. We're gonna wrap this up here. Yes, we are. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about playing as John, but I'm liking it a lot. I do miss Arthur. Hopefully we'll see and him we again. Keep going? We do, but I got to call the episode, Jack, because it's over an hour long. You guys take care. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.